There are a few well-known techniques in optics for finding the best focus of a lens. One of them is to use the speckle pattern from coherent light. In this case, coherent light is focused by this lens onto a piece of aluminum foil. I've chosen the dull side of the aluminum foil because it's rough, and it's the roughness that gives the speckle pattern interference. It's a little bit like the interference pattern that you get from two slits. If the two slits are far apart, then the fringes that you get are close together. If the two slits are close together, the fringes that you get are far apart. So it's a little bit like that here. The pattern of interference that we get is not just two slits, but a whole rough surface. So a number of different points that are interfering. And as they interfere, they make the speckle pattern. But as I bring this lens closer to the target so it actually begins to focus better and better, I can see changes in the speckle pattern. So in fact, what's happening is it's getting coarser and coarser. That fine speckle pattern is not the same. And when I get right at the focus of the lens, the speckle pattern that I get will be coarse, really broad features that I have. In essence, it's because the focus is getting smaller and smaller. And you can view it two ways. You can say it's like having two slits that are getting closer and closer together, and so the fringes have to be far apart. But you can also view it as, a, as an issue of a Fourier transform, and so now I'm having a limiting function, a top hat function that's multiplying by that. And so in the Fourier space, instead of a product of the top hat function and the flat illumination from the laser, I'm actually, in the Fourier transform, looking at the convolution between the top hat function and the speckle pattern that I would have had from a big beam. And so as that gets smaller and smaller, it's that convolution that's the that's the issue, it's the Fourier transform of the top hat function that's doing the job. And actually, in the two-slit experiment, it's the same thing. In the Fraunhofer limit, it's the Fourier transform of the two slits that you have that makes the diffraction pattern.